Encyclopedia Britannica is offering widgets. These are little bits of portable code that interact with data, usually coming from a database. And in this case, you would be able to use a Britannica widget in your blog or your website. And it's really simple to do this. It's just really a matter of copying the embed code, then going into the template for your blog and adding that code into your template where you want the widget to appear. Now, when I say that these widgets are dynamic, uh, it means that they, they update. So, for example, if you were to pick the widget for American presidents, you would see one president uh, at the time you look at the page, reload the page, or visit it a little later, and you'd see another president in there. And, of course, you can click through from these widgets to more detailed information at the Britannica.com site. What we want to do today, though, for those of you who have never placed a widget in a blog or website template, want to show you how to do that. And of course, we're going to use a single approach, uh, this one being a WordPress blog, because they're so common out there. <clears throat> but basically, you would just adapt the same approach that we're going to show you here today to whatever blog tool you're using. So here we are on the Britannica web share site. And what we're going to do is scroll down to uh, the assets and widgets. This would be how you get to the uh, widgets. And you can see it says to click here to see featured widgets. So we're going to have a lot more than what you see here. But uh, you can see that we've got quite a nice listing of uh, widgets for you to try out. Uh, like I say, there are hundreds and hundreds of more of these coming. But uh, we're going to take, uh, oh, let's pick the brain. <laughs> that sounds like a good one. And if you click on it, you'll see that the widget app actually loads up. And uh, you can see that one of the items that is listed under the brain is stroke. Now, if we were to reload this page, you would see that we would get a different uh, item in the widget to talk about something else related to the brain. But if you wanted to put this on your website, what you would do is simply click this link that says grab this and then select the code. That'll automatically copy that code into your cache and then what you would do is go over to your WordPress blog and here's the process for getting that pasted in. Uh, the first thing you would do is click on over to presentation and once you're in the presentation window click on theme editor. This is where your templates reside and scroll down to your sidebar template. I should say that I also work with expression engine blogs and it works very very much the same. Different look and feel to the tabs that you use to get to your templates and uh, then the listing of templates looks a little different but other than that it's it's pretty much the same and what we're going to do is come down to the end here and we're going to say uh, make it a headline to widget paste in the widget code and update the file and you can see that it tells us that the file has been updated successfully so now let's go over to the blog where I've added this and take a look see how it appears and you can see the widget looks just great there uh, gives us the ability to explore other articles and again if we explore the topic it'll take us right into that particular topic uh, the full listing in the Encyclopedia Britannica online without your needing an account so that is how you get a widget pasted into your blog or your website